again. Thank you, dear God. God, we thank you for who you are in our lives, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we ask you now that to, for to forgive us for our sins, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, God. God, we thank you for your love and your kindness, God. God, we thank you for having mercy on us, God. God, we thank you for thinking of enough of us to come see about us, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you for a transfer of administrations, God. God, we thank you for shifting our minds, God. God, we thank you for shaking us up, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you now for who you are to us, oh God. We thank you for being our Savior, God. God, we thank you for being our Lord, God. God, we thank you for being our King, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, we thank you and we love you now, God. God, we praise you and we adore your name, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, now God, we ask that you touch our leader, God. Touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. God bless his coming and his going, oh God. God, nothing missing, nothing broken in his life, God. God, we thank you for his, his path, God. God, we thank you for his anointing, God. God, make easy his way, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you for all you're doing in his life, God. God, we thank you for anointing him even the more, oh God. God, we thank you for dispatching your angels around him, God. Oh God, we ask you that you keep him, God. God, hide him from the enemy, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you now, God. God, we praise you and we adore you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you that all is well in this life, God. God, we thank you that every place that his foot touched, God, every place that his foot tread, God, that he shall have, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you and we love you now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we ask that you touch our elect lady, God. God, bless her indeed, God. God, touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you that there's nothing missing and nothing broken in our life, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, anoint her even the more, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, bless her for her faithfulness, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank and we love you now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you. We praise you now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you for the Lord. We thank you for their lives, God. God, we thank you for the gifts that you've been planted in them, God. God, we thank you as a body, God, for your people, God. In the name of Jesus, God. God, we ask that you touch each and each and pastor each and everywhere, God. God, bless leaders, God. Touch them, God. Give them what they need, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, hold them up, God. Hold them up like only you can, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, heal the body, God. God, set free of the body, God. In the name of Jesus, God. God, we ask that you heal us from ourselves, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you now, God. We thank you now, God. God, change the mind of your people, God. Change the mind of your people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. For you said, for you said in your word, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you now, God. God, we praise you, we do you now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you for who you are, God. God, we bless you for who you are, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, strengthen the people, God. Strengthen the people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. Do it for your name's sake, God. Do it, dog, God, like only you can, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you for all you're going to do in this service, God. God, we thank you for the word of God that's about to come forth, God. God, we thank you, God, that we have ears to hear. God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we thank you now, God. Oh God, we praise and we adore you now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we give you glory, God. God, we give you honor, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, set us free today, God. Set us free, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, have your way, God. God, we give you, we, we, we submit to you, God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we come against anything that's not like you, God. We come against any spirit that will try to hinder this service, oh God. God, we bind it up in the name of Jesus God God we lose peace God we lose love God in the name of Jesus oh God oh God we thank and we love you now God in the mighty name of Jesus God oh get in us like never before God get in us God get never before oh God God we come for an experience in you oh God and we say have your way God have your way today oh God in the name of Jesus God touch who you will God heal who you will God set free save and deliver oh God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh God oh God we give you glory oh God we give you praise God 
In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, I told Satan, get me behind. Oh, victory today is mine. Oh, joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Oh, joy today is mine. Oh, I told, I told Satan, get me behind. Oh, 
wash all over. Yes, sir. Woo. Couldn't find nobody though. Yes. Yeah. Search high and low. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Still couldn't find nobody though. Hallelujah. Nobody greater. Woo. Nobody greater. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nobody greater than you. If you would help me at home, search all over. Search all over. Couldn't find Goodbye, nobody. nobody. Search high and low. Search high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. ready to go forth those that are home with here and here that our life will change after today that we will move these monuments out of our way so that the body of Christ can move bless the word on tonight that you've already done those that are listening at home that are taking time out of obedience to hear what you have to say bless all of my brothers and sisters that are here tonight those that are on their way we bless you and we praise you in Jesus name if you would give God the best praise you can come on we, we just honor him to all of our brothers and sisters in Christ tonight here and at home. If you will have your seat, if we will go directly to our word, bring your Bible, go directly to our word. I want everybody at home to call a member, text a member now and tell them to get online. Thank you, Charlena. Thank you, General Monica, James, Latanja Hollins, and Kayesta, and Marianne Durham, and Sharon Taunton, Siobhan, Lashania, Sharon, Mary, Rosalind, so many Katisha. Um, somebody on Brenda Hill, Betty James, Juanita, 
Amen. Thank you, Stacy Pardo, Angelique. Bless you all for being on. If I didn't call your name, Rhonda Bird, thank you. Miss New Jersey, thank you. Thank you, Jamarcus, Kaya Lenard, and the list goes on and on. Monica James, and Mama Betty Sue, Katisha. Come on, y'all, help me honor those. Amen. Thank you, wife. Come on, help me honor those. Bredasia, Kualania. Thank you. I want to help the body of Christ. I don't want to just, can I get some high in this a little bit? I don't just want to help our church. But it's important to me tonight that I help the body of Christ. I'm you that at home, if you would give me, I told you I was starting at 722, I did. But if you would give me 15 good minutes of your time and your attention tonight, um, I want to talk tonight. Because I, I need the church to understand why we are not healed. Um, because when we look at um, the scripture tonight, and your study scripture, you read it when you get home, but it's St. John 5, and it's verse 2 through 6, and just give you a brief story, and if you would um, tonight understand that I understand, and you understand that there is some hurt somewhere. And so tonight in this story, that was a man, bless your daughter, that was a man that had been sitting at the pool, according to the Bible, for 38 long years. Um, his sitting at the pool in this teaching, and it's, um, it's going to hit your heart tonight, because this man sitting at the pool for 38 long years, when Jesus finally reaches him, David Mack, um, I find that what Jesus asked him was absurd. I thought that Jesus would have at least asked him, are you sick? Or if not even ask me, am I sick? If you always stay with me, that he would even ask something as simple as what hurts me or what, what ails me. But this is not what Jesus comes along and asks tonight. He asks the question, he says, man, do you want, I think y'all know the Bible here, to be healed? Do you, why would anybody ask anybody, do you want to be healed? And so this thing has, this thing has, has, has pushed me in a way that I wanted to ask the church the question tonight. Are you addicted to your hurt? Are, are you addicted to your ways? Have you got addicted um, and, and allowed this hurt to become a monument? Because there is a difference tonight between your spirit and your soul. The Bible says you can study when you get home. Hebrews 12 and 9 says, God says, he says, I am the father of your spirit. And if he is the father of my spirit, I can improve what he is the father of because what he gave me is perfect. That's why he said to Nicodemus, Nicodemus, if you're going to function, if you're going to really move this time, brother, you got to be born again. And after you're born again, the spirit that I give you is perfect. Will you help me at home? Hebrews 7, 19. Well, pastor, you said there was a difference between my spirit. My spirit is directly from the Lord. But then what is bruised and hurt is your soul. Because the soul, write this down, deal with the emotions. It deals with the will. It deals with the what? Emotions. It deals with the what? Will. It deals with the mind. And it deals with your intellect. Are you hearing me tonight? So when you're born again, your spirit is perfect. There are no defects in your spirit. 
all of God, all of our spirit that God puts in us. He is the father of our spirit. That is the Holy Spirit. That is the new man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You can't improve it. Satan can't get to it. Why? Because it's guarded by the Holy Ghost. Our problem this night is our soul, is our mind. Will you help me at home? Will you help me here? Is our mind, is our will, is our emotion, bless your sister, is our intellect. See, what we have done, we have made a monument of our hurts. You made a monument, and it's a monument in your mind. That's why he said, listen, if you want to be healed, cast down all of these. Y'all help me down here. Cast down all of these imaginations. That's why your hurt always get everybody's attention. Because you're not casting it down. What I need God to heal tonight, I need him to heal my emotions. I need God to heal my will. I, I need God to heal my mind. I need God to heal my intellect. Because he says the weapons of my warfare are not carnal. But it's for the pulling down. Or am I with me? Are y'all with me? A strong hold. There are strong holes in your life that has kept you from going into the next relationship. That has kept you from being happy. That has kept you from being, I'm smiling again. Because you got this monument that lets folks so far in. But then you go back to that monument and you build up a fence. Am I helping anybody? Because we got to be healed. So there's a process. It's called sanctification. Sanctification is a process. You got to leave where you are. You're thinking wrong. Come on, help me, church. You're thinking wrong. You made a monument of hurt. And you're building wrong things in your soul. You're allowing stuff. Well, I need. You're not going to be happy at McDonald's if you're not happy at Burger King. Well, I got to go from this church. No, moving from another church to another church ain't going to make you happy right now. You got to get rid of the monuments. Are you hearing me tonight? Come on, you're not talking. Are you hearing me tonight? God is in who? You. You don't know where he is? God is where? He's in you. He is in you. God is in you. Jesus is in you. Jesus said this. He said, if you see me, you've seen the Father. Well, if I've seen him, I've seen the Father. And Jesus is in me. If you see me, you've seen the Father. My hurt has come through my soul. So guess what I'm in? I'm in defense mode. That's defense in your soul. That's defense. You're mad. You, 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 you're hurt. You, you, you're angry. Come on. And what you keep doing, every time something happens to you, you build a fence. Every time something go wrong with you, you build a fence. And guess what? Guess what, Elder Boone? The pathway the devil is walking is the fence you build. He knows that if he can keep you from operating in the kingdom, if he can keep your name, he'll keep walking to your fence. And guess what he's, he's looking at? He's looking at the monument you build. You're in defense. You, you, you got the fence up. You mad. I'm not saying you don't have a reason to be mad, but don't stay mad. Amen. You're building the fence. And guess what this fence is? It's designed to keep you in bondage. Come on, help me tonight, please. It's designed to keep you in bondage. Bondage, woman be loose, man be loose. What 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 has done to you? Lord, be loose tonight because you're in bondage because of this sense. Yes, sir. Do you want to be healed? Come on, I got I got enough folk in here. Do you do you want to be healed? You've been sitting here for 38 years talking about when nobody knows what I'm going through when we don't. Well, people don't understand what's up. We don't. That's why he said, take it to God in prayer. But 
what we look, that's why you're looking at every church on Facebook. Because guess what? You got an itch in here. I need something because I got a fish. Oh, that's it right there. Oh, he preaching to me. No, the other one's preaching to you too. But now you got an itch in the ear. And you feel somebody got to touch you or lay hands on. Ain't nobody got to impart nothing in you. You got every gift right now inside of you, Tasha. Y'all help me, other boom. You got to stir up the gift and you got to say, listen, if I can imagine it, I can get it. Are you with me at home? He's designed this, this fence to build, to keep you in bondage, to keep you sad. What, 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 what has been done to you has been done to your soul. Do y'all really want to be healed? Come on, I got enough of y'all. Do you in here tonight really want to be healed? Then why have you did what Achan done? The Lord told Joshua, he said, go down there and fight Ai. Yes, Ai army was only this big. Yes, but guess what? They couldn't beat Ai. And Joshua went to the Lord and said, Lord, why can't we beat Ai? He said, because you got a young man by the name of Achan, and he's taken something and made it a monument in his camp. You can't win any battles anymore. Because you keep running in the camp hiding this stuff. I don't want to do you. I want, listen, babies, I want you to be healed tonight. The wound is the pathway the enemy used to go up and down just to keep you from functioning correctly in your natural life. You're not, you can't just function. Oh, I, I just can't function in the body. You can't even function on your job good. Somebody talk about it. Oh, I know, I know that. About to have anxiety. The devil is alive. Kill that money man right there. She didn't speak to me. So what, baby? Why are you making a monument out of that? Do you want to be healed? Do you not know that this monument is used sometime to have a little pity party? Because if you keep telling everybody folk hurt you, everybody around you, oh, poor, oh man, I can't believe. I can't. And the stuff you just rebuke, you over that babysitting it. I don't have a one clap, but I go with that one tonight. The stuff you talking about you don't like, that's the very stuff you over there babysitting. Well, oh, we, maybe we should listen to... No, we should tell her to kill that monument. This fence has been left to keep you off focus. The Lord said, I come to heal the broken heart. Oh, you're not talking here. I came to heal the... He's here? Let him heal your heart. I come to renew the mind. He's here? Let him renew your mind. That's not what you're connected to though. You're connected to brokenness. I want you to connect to God. You're connected to your madness. I want you to connect to God tonight. I, listen, if y'all don't never call me an apostle again, that's fine. I'm not going to make that a monument. I'm not going to be, well, they, they, don't, they don't recognize. I'm not going to make that a monument anymore. I'm moving tonight from behind this fence. Do you, have you not noticed, God bless you, have you not noticed the word defense, the word fence is in it? Fence is anything you want to keep somebody out of or keep something in. You build up this fence and guess what? Nothing is going out and nothing is coming in. Are you hearing me tonight, church? Stop rehearsing your pathway to hurt. Tear the fence down. Somebody say that, tear the fence down. I wish y'all had said at home with me, say it here again. Tear, tear the fence down. Tear it down, y'all. Tear it down. You mean to tell me your only excuse for not being here because nobody would put you in? But when they dropped you off, why you didn't tell them to put you in the pool? Because somebody brought you there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Nobody know the trouble you see. We understand that. But do you want to be healed? Well, how do I do it? Leave your pity party. Quit sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. You're not the only person being hurt and disappointed and been in a bad relationship. You're not, I'm not, come on now. You're not the only person that, that, that had a, a, a disease. You're not the only person, a person that cheated on. You're not, and you ain't going to be last. But you got to tear it down. Tear it. I see the Lord in here. You got to tear it down so you can function again. You got to tear it down so you can visit your family again. You got to tear it down so you can have friends again. You got to tear it down so y'all will love each other again. Tear it down. Stop revisiting hatred of your own monuments. Stop revisiting the hatred of your own monument. You built that. The Lord didn't build that. Nobody talking to me now. Do you want to be healed? The devil has done one thing. Hey, Angelique, he has trapped you behind the fence. You are anointed. You got gifts. You got things God wants to use in your life. Not just the church, but in your natural life. But you're locked behind the fence. Do you want to be healed? He's trapped us in five ways. Anxiety. We can't even breathe no more. We talk about the Holy Ghost and how much power we got. And then we still waking up at night. Casting for bread because we got a monument still in our camp. Come on, y'all. We got a monument that we have built in our mind, in our head. We got a monument and it's there tonight. So now he's using anxiety. The next thing he's using against you is I don't trust nobody. You are lying. You do trust somebody because somebody built that bridge you just crossed over. Somebody made that chair you send in. You don't even know them. Y'all not talking on here. So that's the, that's the way he keeps you where you are. Well, I just want to be happy. I, happiness is in your face and you don't even see it. You're trying to love something you keep trying to fix instead of something that's already made for you. Boy, did I say that? That's not in my notes. God already got it designed and made for you, but you got to make something. He said, you don't have to make nothing just to receive what I put in front of you. Yeah, Are y'all hearing me? So we got anxiety, we got non-trust, and then we got the blame game. Yeah. Well, I don't do this because of this. I don't do this because I don't do this no more because I don't do this no more. No, I just changed my crowd. I'm not a Walmart guy. No offense, daughter. You know, I tell you to get me stuff. But I don't go in Walmart. My wife tell you, I don't go in Walmart. If I go in Walmart, it's very, very seldom that I go in. Very seldom that I go in Walmart. Very seldom. But I, 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 I'll go in Target. Not that, not that, you know, I don't have no stocks or nothing. Uh, but, but, but I realize one bad experience ain't the same experience everywhere. I, I don't go in that store because I had a bad experience. What you don't know is the person that gave you the bad experience been five, four years ago. And you still taking a long exit to go down two miles, turn right, go up the street to go to that Walmart. I'm back. I just got delivered through my own sermon. <laughs> so guess what you're doing next? And I'm almost done. Every prophet come on television you, you or Facebook. Oh, that's the word. That, that, that ain't no word. Bible said the last day you're going to have itching ears. And right now your ears are so, I just need a word. I just need a word. I just, you need a word. Say how quiet you can. You need a word from God. Pick up your Bible. Read from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Everything a prophet is going to tell you is already in here. But we jumping. We moving. Well, I got to go here. I got to move myself over here. I'm so happy with me right now. I told my wife that I don't have no, I don't, nobody don't come visit me. I don't have a lot of friends. Nobody don't call me. I'm at home. I know sometimes she'd be like, why don't he go somewhere besides church? 
but I'm just as happy in that house. Not that anybody has done anything to me. Not that I don't want to hang out. It's just that I found a place of happiness. I killed all my monument and I'm all right. So guess what we do? We jump from place to place. Oh, that's the word right there. Oh, 20 minutes. Oh, that's the word right there. 30 minutes. Oh, somebody. That's the word. Which one is it? Do you want to be healed? Have you allowed your life, your dream, your walks, your stocks, your bonds to be held up because you got all these fences? Where are you in life? Where are you in life? It's a serious message. Because listen, listen to this, Duchess. I mean, excuse me, Sister Lynn. <laughs> I'm bad, my bad. If we talk about we want God to do a great move, and we'll, how are we going to get a great move and we're not healed? Guess what? Dear heart, he didn't even have to get in the pool. <laughs> Go back and read the Bible. That was just his fears. Nobody put me in. See, man, see I'm glad I wasn't Jesus. I said, did you ask anybody, bro? You see your rump over here, I ain't bathed. <laughs> no, I would have went through like that or something like that. <laughs> you could, <laughs> you could have slid. You know what I'm saying? I would have said stuff. Like, ain't nothing wrong with your hand. You, I would have said stuff like that in the name of Lord Jesus, Darlene. But where are you? Where are you? Uh, do, do, do another prophet got to talk to you before you move them fence? Do you have to join somebody else's church before you? Do you have to go somewhere? Or, or do you, are you just going to kill these monuments you build? Or are you going to get rid of these monuments? You got to trust tonight to be happy. You got to trust tonight to be healed. I don't want to. Why are you sitting now? You're acting crazy. Because that's not you. You've allowed these monuments to pull you out of the character and become a person that you're, you're not mean like that. You're not nasty like that. But because you won't get rid of these monuments, it's creating a monster. You ever have, have folk tell you, oh my God, you're the sweetest. God, sometimes you're just the sweetest person. You ever had anybody in your life tell you that? That ain't no compliment. Because they say sometimes. <laughs> you know why they say sometimes? Because they see you do it. And they know you can do it. But you only choose not to do it when you decide to visit your monument. Am I doing all right? Am I doing okay? Am I doing all right? Am I doing okay? Tonight you're there at home. If you're on Facebook, make comments. I want to know. Because I want the church to move. I, I, even if I'm not the pastor here. It's, it's not about passion or church. It's about the body moving. It's about us function again. The church can't function if there's no love in it. We can't function if there's no forgiveness in us. Honey, I'm just doing me. That's the problem. Well, I can go. I don't want to go to the wrong place with that. But praise God. This ain't dry time. You got to get what you hid out of the camp. You got to get all this anger, all this madness, all this, argh, I mean, argh, everything. How you doing? I'm, I'm blessed and highly favored. No, you got a monument, baby. Because folks that's blessed and highly favored smile about it. They're happy about it. Kill these monuments. Forgive people. Let stuff go. Kill these monuments that you have built because God didn't build them. But guess what? The devil didn't build them in them either. He let you build them. He just revisited them for you and with you. And he makes it bigger than what it really is. He makes it worse than what it really is. Have you ever got mad with somebody and went off and after they left you was like, man, I really was crazy when I because it wasn't them that you was really mad with. You just had visited your monument. 
And when you visit your monument, you went off on the first person close to you. Help me, Lord. Everybody standing. You that at home, I hope you receive this. This wasn't a hollering preaching message, but it's a healing, and I'm going to preach healing. Do you want to be healed till we are healed? I was playing a song out of Boone on the radio. When y'all get a chance, Leah, y'all stay with me for a minute. I'm only a few minutes. Um, and the song was Father Alone. And, and in the song, the girl said that, I played it today, yesterday. I mean, yeah, yesterday it said, my, my daddy used to beat my mama when she go to church. And my mama stayed there because she thought she would ch change him. But when we got home, we went in the room and my daddy killed my mama, then turned around and killed himself. Because we have a tendency to stay around a monument of abuse and monuments of hurt. But tonight, I need the entire church to repeat after me, Lord, deliver me. Come on, I need the whole church. Lord, deliver me from my own monuments. Lord, forgive us for making situations in our lives monuments. I remove every monument, every stronghold in my soul. Release me in the name of Shabbat. Woo. Release me in the name of Jesus. Loose me in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, give our God the best praise you. He's our God. Come on. Come on. He's our God. Come on. Come on. He's our God. Come on. He's our God. Come on. He's our God. Yeah. I feel deliverance all in the hole. All of the Who can love us like him? Ah! Who will love us like he loves us? is coming out of me. He said let no bitterness you're not afraid of the person next to you say get rid of that monument that's why you stay sick and mad and upset and stress on your heart and you got the monuments you ain't talking about them and they controlling you Jesus, I feel his glory. I feel his glory. I feel his glory. Come on, I'm delivered. I'm made free tonight. I'll never be the same again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'll never be the same. I don't want to be the same. Hey. It's about shot. Oh, I need tan here now. Oh, shot Woo! 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 Whom the Lord makes free. Break out of there. 
Break out of it. Break out of it. Break.
Gonna make a monument, I'm gonna tear it down right there. Woo! When folk disappoint me, I'm not gonna make a monument, I'm gonna tear it down. Watch out. Woo! Watch out. to give cheerfully and willingly. Let him speak to you at home on your cash app. I'm, I'm praying that some of you give a thousand because you, you broke out, you tore it down. I'm praying some of you give 500, 200 because you tore it down. I'm coming out this thing. I torn it. The fence is gone. I told the fence down. It ain't nobody rebuilding it. If you use a credit card, come quickly. Every person that would give, come and place it. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, daughter. Now, I, because you have, listen. It's the making season. Just a little bit. Oh my. Tear down. Tear down. Tear down, baby. Tear down. Tear down. Spin in your mind. Tear down. Oh my shot through. Woo! Alright, Rachella, stop! Stop, Rachella! Oh! God, there she go! There she go! Oh, we got a runner. We got a runner. What past the walker? Woo! You tore it down. You tore it down, Rachetta.
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Go ahead, Richetta. We got you. Come on, wife. Wife. standing the Lord is just who he is I am I am so um, I tore down so many monuments when God was giving this to me because if you're not careful you will allow things to become a reason you don't do things we use it for reasons why we don't come to church why we don't participate why we don't we only use it for the kingdom why we don't get involved but tonight, you don't even have to get in the pool. Yes. You just have to decide, I want to be healed. Yes. Yes, Jesus. I do. Yes, God. And tonight, I don't just want to be healed. Yes, Jesus. I am healed. Yes, sir. Yes, Jesus. But somebody confess that with everything, yes, I am healed. I am. So guess what? Stuff just ain't going to bother you no more. Yes. Things just ain't going to get on your nerve like it used to. Because tonight, you build monuments and the devil keep leading you down that path to go visit him. But tonight, the monument is gone. Notice people that are in your life. You go to, you go to really cry when you go to the grave. Where they at? They're not even there. But that's where you cry at. Because the spirit is with the Lord. But if he can keep you visiting the monument, keep crying, keep feeling sorry for yourself. Tonight you get in that car and you say, there is no limitation to what I can have, where I can go. I have, listen, I'm like a jet tonight. I'm taking off. I'm moving faster than the Concorde. I'm going to get there. 
And they said, what do you do if you're on the ground? The president drives something called a monster. I don't know what it's called. But I don't care how many bullets you shoot him with it, it won't hit his car. It won't come inside. It'll hit it, but it'll bounce off. Tonight, it's bouncing off. When they hurt you, kill that money man and keep dancing. Keep praising God. Keep living. And tonight, I, I speak to you tonight to believe God for anything. God can do anything but fail. I love you. Pray my strength to the Lord yeah. that I will take this church not the way I want it, yes, but the way God will have me to take it. Yeah. That every ounce of his obedience I will obey. I'm not just a young prophet. I've been a prophet a long time, yeah. and I know the voice of the Lord. Yes, and I ask God today, forgive me for being a man pleaser yes, and help me be a God pleaser. Yes, Give God praise and consider yourself this